Hello Libra, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love. What are the current challenges or obstacles? Where is all of this headed next? And finally, what is your person currently thinking or feeling about you? So we're going to be looking at all of that today. So let's jump right in for Libra. Spirit, angels, guys. What do we need to know for Libra regarding love? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know for Libra? What do we need to know? What's going on for Libra in love? Let's start there. What's going on for Libra in love spirit? What's going on for Libra in love? Wow, the two of cups. Are you kidding me? Great start. So I feel like Libra, whoever you're thinking about or connecting with right now, they are someone that you definitely see eye to eye with. They could be a soulmate. They could be somebody that you have a very deep, strong connection with. I feel like you may have met this person recently or recently reconnected because I'm, I'm literally seeing both of these cups coming together. Maybe you met at a bar or something and like literally clinked glasses. <laughs> but it, it, whatever is going on right now, it's very beautiful. I mean, this is beautiful energy with the two of cups. I almost like don't even want to get another card, but <laughs> I'm going to get one more. What's going on for Libra in love right now, spirit? What's going on for Libra? Two of pentacles and the four of wands. So I feel like um, maybe there is a decision you have to make here in regards to this person. Maybe there's a lot going on right now and you're kind of juggling multiple things or they're very busy. I'm sensing that this person is someone that you're really connecting with, but at the same time, you're wondering like, where is this going? Like, what do, what do I need to know about where this is going? What's going on for Libra in love? What's going on for Libra in love? Wow, second chances. Rebirth, resurrection, revival. You're being given a second chance. So Libra, this could be interpreted in multiple ways. Maybe you're being given a second chance at love in general. Being able to have a much better relationship or connection uh, with someone new. Or you're getting a second chance with someone you already know. Let me get one more. What's going on for Libra in love? What's going on for Libra in love? What's going on for Libra in love? Mountain, obstacles, difficulty, challenges. That could be what this two of pentacles is about. Maybe this is the perfect person, but it doesn't mean it's the perfect situation, right? There might be other things to like think about, obstacles, interferences. No connection is perfect. There's always something. Um, for example, this could be that you meet the perfect person, but they live a long distance from you. That's never fun, right? Um, or there's just something that makes this a little bittersweet. What's happening in the recent past? What's What's been going on in the recent past for Libra in love? What's been going on in the recent past spirit for Libra in love? Nine of Wands. So some of you, I feel like, haven't been able to trust people. Your trust may have been broken when it came to a specific person. Maybe you're guarding your heart right now, not letting a lot of people in, being very careful who you surround yourself with. I feel like recently in love, it's been difficult. Maybe someone hurt you and you've kind of been picking up the pieces, or maybe this is just a situation where you've had so many, you've been kissing a lot of frogs and you're kind of just like, what, you know, when are things gonna start looking up for me? Some of you, I feel like you feel Maybe in the recent past, you thought you had met the right person and they proved you wrong. Or maybe you thought a certain person was like everything you could ever want. But 
I feel like your trust in your judgment may have been broken or I don't know it's like you don't really trust like you used to knight of swords okay some someone could have um communicated something to you recently maybe you found something out you had some sort of conversation that was illuminating maybe there was a text or a dm or something and um i'm getting that it wasn't a good thing to find out yeah this was something that came in and it wasn't good i i don't feel like what you found out was <clears throat> excuse me was good for you <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry i have like something in my throat this could be like for example that analogy that we just discussed and i mean by we that i basically said <laughs> but maybe like you met someone that you thought was it and then you had a conversation that was like wow we're not on the same page what are the current challenges for libra in love challenges spirit for libra in love eight of pentacles i feel like people maybe not are not putting in the, the same amount of effort that you are maybe you're waiting for someone to work on things with you or you want to work on this relationship on an even like, like you want to risk okay so the work that you put in you want that back i can't remember the word for that for some reason i feel like you're wanting initiative too like maybe you you've been the one that initiates everything or you want someone else to take the first step make the first move for some reason this has been a challenge so it's not really happening when it comes to love maybe you're the one that initiates all the dates all the conversation maybe you've been meeting people that work too hard maybe you're dealing with a workaholic <laughs> the emperor aries energy no i'm getting that this is someone it's like you want someone to take charge you want someone to take charge be decisive be mature know what they want how to get it i feel like this is what you're missing yeah seven of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like instead of an emperor you, you're meeting seven of swords or you're dealing with those type of people people you can't really trust people that are shifty you don't know what their intentions are you don't know like what's going on that's why i feel like when you do meet this two of cups i feel like that's where the doubt creeps in is this going to be like all the other times what is this person currently thinking about libra what are they currently thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra? Three of Wands, waiting for a message back, waiting for a result, waiting for something to happen. Someone could be waiting to make their move as well. What else? I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with someone from the past that's reaching out again and you're just not sure how to take this and so they're kind of like waiting for you to accept them or reject them yeah this person whoever this is they're thinking about making an offer in you know and not a quick offer they have good intentions if that's what you're wondering this is somebody with good intentions with the knight of pentacles they don't like to play games the knight of pentacles they like things to be done right and they don't care if it takes twice as long if they end up doing things the way they're supposed to be done with the three of wands and the knight of pentacles together i'm thinking this is someone that's really taking their time maybe that's where you're wondering here why is, are things progressing so slow tell me about this person's energy What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energy? I will make this right again. This could be somebody that hurt you, disappointed you in the past. I compare everyone I meet to you at the bottom of the deck. This could very simply be that this is someone that wants to prove themselves to you. 
if this is someone from the past, maybe in the past the challenge was that they weren't decisive enough or didn't put in the right amount of effort. Maybe they didn't act like an emperor energy and that's what exactly what you needed from them. If this is someone new, I feel like I will make this right again. Maybe you got off on the right, wrong foot or they did something to disappoint you. Maybe you saw a yellow flag and you were like, let me back up here. Let me know if any of that is resonating in the comments. So where is all of this headed? Next, where is all of this headed in the near future spirit? For Libra. Where is all of this headed next? For Libra. Temperance, patience, Sagittarius energy slowly coming together slowly resolving itself slowly healing with the star at the bottom of the deck aquarius energy there a resolution something coming to a resolution or coming to balance but it's going to take time and effort with temperance where's all of this headed next for libra spirit where's all of this headed next for libra Page of Wands, some sort of initiative, someone taking some sort of action here. I feel like if this is that this person that's taking action or taking initiative, it will be in a timing that they feel right or at, the, at a time that they feel is the right time. I don't know why I can't like form a normal sentence. Uh, <laughs> bear with me, Libra. Mer it is Mercury retrograde right now, okay? And I also have... Um, there's i think mars and gemini and a bunch of other astrological stuff that's like not fun right now tell me more spirit where is all of this headed next can i get one more where's all this headed next for libra the high priestess okay so with the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn does not have to be whoever this is that you're dealing with Libra I you know and I know it's infuriating but I feel like you're going to be kept in the dark about what they truly want to do because they're waiting for the perfect time to demonstrate what it is that they want and I I, I feel like you're becoming impatient or instead of attracting you this is like repelling you so for example if this person is making you some sort of promise or telling you to wait for them as they get some things in order or as they work through th things or you know it, it's almost like instead of that reassuring you and and you know it's almost like they're asking for patience asking for more time instead of that reassuring you it kind of pushes you away a little bit because the doubt starts to creep in You know, I feel like this person, if they haven't reached out already with this Knight of Swords, which I feel like they have, I feel like there has already been some sort of communication in the recent past. But let's say they have communicated in the recent past. They haven't told you exactly what it is that they really want to discuss. I'm getting like this energy of like beating around the bush. Like, for example, this message here could have just been a hi, how are you? Just checking in, right? But what they are not telling you is that they're thinking about this Knight of Pentacles. They're thinking about this King of Pentacles energy, you know, making something happen, um, making you an offer that's stable, that's solid. Tell me about this Page of Wands. Tell me about this Page of Wands, please. Wow, the tower. Yeah, um, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. When I see the Seven of Pentacles with the tower, I think of like, surprise, um, you were patiently waiting for something and then it just kind of smacks you with the tower. Or someone was waiting for the perfect time and then boom, they drop a tower on you. Especially with the High Priestess here. This person might surprise you with a message. Like, for example, 
if you know we're following that analogy that i was talking about where someone said hello but they didn't tell you that they really want to get back together that's the message i want to get back together and for some reason that's not what you were expecting to hear tell me about this tower five of swords tell me about this tower tell me about this tower seven of cups and the ace of cups interesting so the seven of cups is about choices options and the five of swords with the seven of cups i instantly think that someone might choose the wrong approach the wrong method they might be so afraid of failure and rejection that they spring something on you libra and you're like um you need to back up <laughs> Something like that is kind of what I'm getting here. It's And it's kind of ironic because this is someone who's waited for the perfect time. And then when the time that they feel is the perfect time arrives, they do something that kind of makes you question everything. Instead of being reassured, like I said earlier, you're kind of like left to be wondering, what is this? Sometimes when you internalize things and you plan things on your own without communicating with another person, it's like you're having conversations in your head that are going very well. In your mind, the conversation is going 100% amazingly. And then in person, it's a disaster. That's kind of what I'm picturing here. They're being so careful to not make a mistake with you that I feel like by being too careful, they're going to make a mistake. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> but that's what I have for you, Libra, for the month of October. I feel like there's a tower coming in the form of, I think it's communication with the Page of Wands, but it could just be that this person makes a move towards you. And this move, I feel, is not going to be, it's almost like somebody that like, they're trying to be cool and suave, and then they end up crying and confessing that they love you or they end up crying and begging for forgiveness or something and you're like what the hell i thought we were just here for coffee <laughs> it's like something like that because i feel like this person yeah the ace of cups and the three of swords it's going to be a mixed bag it's going to be kind of bittersweet whatever happens here it's like someone's like offering you or or almost like they're unloading emotionally on you um, and being very open and honest about how they feel, maybe revealing pain or heartache, and you're kind of like, what's happening? 